when we arrived a few weeks later, they made a, a ghetto. They put wires around, and this was it. Do so my cousin told me, everybody is running away to the forest. What are you, heaven's name, what did you come in here? Would you look what you came in to the ghetto? You know, you don't have no chance to survive here. So my father told her like this. My wife passed away, and I don't see myself to live this way, and I'd rather be dead. And upset me very much the way my father talked. This was a little different from the kind of talk that he had spoken yeah. before. And he, he told me and my brother, listen, you must do everything what's in your power to survive this war. The war. One day, and to see Hitler's... Uh, Destruction. Uh, death. The Hitler's death. No, he did say something to me. I can't explain in English. Would you like to say it in Yiddish? Hitler's Mepula. And he talked and talked to the whole group that the young kids do everything what they can. He quoted from the Bible and he said that God says to you, you look after yourself and I will help you out. You do everything what's in your power because you're young and strong and you can survive if you really want to. You, the mind is very powerful. And be strong. Don't ever give up. And in the, in the ghetto, I worked uh, for Schindler as a as a cleaning woman. How did that? How did you get involved with him? Well, the, there was a Jewish um, a Jewish cup, couple. He request uh, attractive ladies to bring him to his apartment. And the couple came to me, and he requested that I should go work, uh, ask me, to, I want to go. He didn't ask me, he to told me that you should go work for Schindler, and you should be a cleaning lady. No, you know, maybe, uh, you know, you know how it is. He's a man, and you're a girl. Was he living just outside the Dubrovna ghetto? The, the couple, no. No, 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 Schindler Yes, himself. Schindler was living in town, and he had an apartment. This was not only his uh, only apartment. He had many apartments. So finally he brought me, and he t introduced me to Schindler. And i tell you the truth. At that time, I didn't know that this was the famous Schindler. No, he was a very... In my estimation, a very kind man. He talked to me, and he started to make passes. And I told him like this: I was hired as a cleaning lady, and I'm going to clean. And if you want, I can cook too. And he he told me, well, I don't need just for cleaning. I said, listen. I, I spoke in German. I come from an extremely orthodox family. I myself, I am a strong believer. You can only have sex with a man when you're married. If you're not married, you cannot sleep with a man. So he looked at me. So he asked me what kind of background. I told him that we are coming from very religious people, and I strongly believe that. So 
he said, we will, we will see about that. And he left, Get came in, so they left both together. And I cleaned, and I was a very good cleaning lady. I, he was very happy with me. He always brought me something to eat, you know, and he brought me from the restaurant something that I should sit down and eat because I know and that you don't have much and if you want to, you cannot take home because if they catch you that you have something from here, they can shoot you. And I came, went there for quite a few weeks and he talked to me all the time. And he said that I am so honest and I am so open that, and I, I, I talked so nice and I begged him so that he shouldn't touch me because this is the biggest sin and I'd rather be dead, I told him. So he left me alone. And this is my wedding picture. It was taken a little later in 1946. And um, we, uh, thanks God, we both well and doing fine. And our wedding anniversary is 